welcome to Arabesque Agenda. I'm Leah and I'm here to give you all the top tips of the best arts and cultural events coming up in London and the Middle East. First up, let's take a look at what's going on in London. As we were all aware, Ramadan is upon us, so this episode will be dedicated to all the wonderful events happening in London to celebrate. Shabak is an ongoing festival of celebration through the arts and has become the world's premier festival for contemporary Arab culture with the widest scope, freedom and variety. It will welcome 16 full days of concerts, performances, debates, exhibitions and much, much more from the 11th until the 26th of July. So with this in mind, the next three topics will be a selection of things to see and do at this fantastic event. Kicking off the start of Shubak, we have a family-friendly afternoon full of live music, art and drop-in workshops. Hafla in the Square offers visitors the chance to watch and even join in on the day's exciting events. Watch London-based Egyptian artist Nazir Tumbuli create a giant floor painting or join the artist's collective variant space to construct an installation based on identity. Perhaps some of you are a little more musical than others and fancy trying some Arabic drumming with Farouk al Saifi in one of his popular drumming circles or even watch Libyan graffiti artist Ayman al-Jahani create one of his new works. Whatever takes your fancy, make sure not to miss the performances on the music stage as it promises to offer London's finest Arab musicians, including the Yaz Fantasy Trio, described by Time Out as a wicked fusion of shabby and jazz. The event itself is free and takes place on the first day of Shabak on Saturday the 11th of July. To ensure you don't miss your favourite event, head to shabak.co.uk to find a full list of the day's itinerary. Next up we have Shabak's opening concert, bringing together some of the greatest musicians from across the Arab world. Moroccan singer Karima Scali joins the ACIL Ensemble to perform The Three Birders, which are song cycles combining poetry and music inspired by the greatest Arab composers and poets across the centuries. The evening promises a magical and mesmeric journey of music with a well-known classical birder and words from the 12th century poems. A special iftar meal is available in the Barbican Lounge after the concert and to find out more, simply visit barbican.org.uk. If you love cinema, then you'll love what's on at the Institute of Contemporary Arts as there is a 10-day filmathon in honour of Michael Khalifi. Khalifi is a celebrated Palestinian director and Shubak has invited him to mark this occasion by curating the festival's main film programme with a themed personal selection from his own films in dialogue with works of Arab and European cinema. The movies will be broadcast across three venues and explores many different areas. The period of celebratory films is called A Homage to Michael Khalifi. It kicks off on Sunday the 12th of July, starting with a triple bill of documentaries called Visions of Palestine and runs until the 22nd of July, closing with Route 181, Part 2 and 3. If you fancy visiting one or all of these specially selected films, then visit shubak.co.uk. Now let's find out what's happening in the Middle East. Following from last week's recommendation to visit the Junier International Festival's opening ceremony, the festival is now in full swing. And what better way to carry on the celebrations than with major A-lister superstar Jessie J headlining at Lebanon's Found Shehab Stadium. Performing her show-stopping hits live, this is definitely not an event to be missed, and we guarantee tickets are going to sell out quicker than you can say price tag. The concert takes place on Wednesday the 15th of July at the Found Shuhab Stadium in Junier, Lebanon and tickets are available at Virgin Ticketing Box Offices at all branches. To find out more, visit lebtivity.com. For those of you that like an active lifestyle in Dubai but just can't fathom the 40 degree plus heat over the next couple of months, well here is your answer. Dubai Sports World offers the sports enthusiasts of Dubai a chance to enjoy their favourite sports indoors during the summer heat. With one of the biggest indoor playing fields, the venue offers the opportunity to play football, basketball, volleyball, tennis and much, much more. Book a court with friends or simply join in with other players and enjoy playing your favourite sport in the middle of summer in a cool indoor setting. Dubai Sports World 2015 is held at the World Trade Center and is open now and ongoing until Saturday the 29th of August. So plenty of time for you to get those boots on. For more information, visit dubaisportsworld.ae. Now to take a look at our Arabesque of the Week. So this week we head off to the Rich Mix in East London for the second showing of Comedy Night Arabs Are Not Funny, where we ironically get to laugh a lot along with meeting some of the fierce comedians with Middle Eastern backgrounds who were definitely the stars of the night. Make sure you tune into that later in the week for a good old laugh. That's the 
end of today's show. Thank you again for joining us. It's been a pleasure. We hope you have the chance to visit one of these amazing events, especially at Shabak. See you next time for more of the best events coming up. And Ramadan Kareem. Take care. Bye-bye.